Gansel to tell us more about the Run for Change and how we can all get involved. Good morning, Tia. Good morning. Thanks Good. for having me. Thank you for coming on here. It's always a pleasure. And the Run for Change, it's a big deal because um, drunk driving, it happens unfortunately, but mm -hmm. we're here to do better change and kind of bring awareness Absolutely. to it. I think that it's one of those things that we talk about a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Don't drink and drive. It's right. that easy concept that we can discuss, but actually putting it into play. But I think we live in a time where it's easy to get home mm -hmm. if you've been drinking or you've been doing drugs. And it's, what do we do to take keys from our friends? What do we do to make sure people aren't making those mistakes? Yeah. Take an Uber call a friend, like have somebody drive you home, walk home. I think even in you know rural North Dakota, yeah. there's ways to get home. I mean, more than 203 people died. It was like um, in the last five years, just from drinking and driving alone. Mm -hmm. um, this event's been going on for, you know, this is gonna be the 11th year. And it's like every year those statistics continue to increase. And we are just living in a time yeah. where that needs to stop. Exactly, too. And it's bad that those numbers are going up. Yeah, yeah. it's easier and easier to get a ride home. So Absolutely. Uh, why doesn't it make sense? I don't know, unfortunately. I don't know. But. It's just literally our job. And yeah. what we want to do with the funds yeah. and the proceeds that we get from this race is help people change behaviors, help people, um, you know, just be more educated on mm -hmm. that. Because we can talk about it, but what else can we do to yeah. really put that into play? But to put this into perspective, too, there is actually a story, unfortunately, how this unfolded as to why this run mm -hmm. does exist and what's yeah. the background on it. So it, it's really heartbreaking. Yeah. In 2012, July, six to be exact um, the Deutscher family was driving from Fargo to a family reunion in Bismarck mm -hmm. they were living in Fargo at the time but all the family was back here in Bismarck and it's a family of four it's mom dad baby Brielle and then she was pregnant with a baby mm -hmm. and um, they were killed head-on drunk driver I-94 and it was devastating I mean yeah. the ripple effects that have transpired from that the man who was drinking and driving, he was also killed. Okay. Um, and so five people died in that crash that day. Mm -hmm. um, and that family is incredibly strong. I've gotten to know that family in the last yeah. couple of years since working on Run for Change. And they're, they're incredible. The Jerry family, the Mickelson family, who is Allison's family, they really took this on. So this mm -hmm. is the 11th year. So that very next yeah. year, they started the Run for Change. I mean, to have the strength to lose an entire family yeah. and then literally less than one year later, this is actually yeah. um, a picture from the very first run in 2013, but to you know, start that right away and say, how do we make change from something so devastating? And this is actually the parents of Aaron and Allison, who were killed in that crash. You mm -hmm. can see the Mickelsons and the Deutschers in that. Are they still in Bismarck, too, the family? Yeah, and so um, we kind of got involved because Tom Deutscher, who is the father of Aaron, um, he worked with the North Dakota Safety Council for okay. a long time because yeah. he worked for OSHA. And so we knew of each other. They go hand in hand. Yeah. They go hand in hand, yep. And so, um, you know, when they were looking to kind of rebrand this event as parents and what can they do to further the outreach, they came to us. And so we took it over. This is our third year okay. of um, being in charge of the Run for Change. And so I think it's just an incredibly tragic story, yeah. but so much has come out of it because they are advocates for the issue. And I was also reading too on your website for the Safety Council that they were a pretty active family, they very were. athletic and everything. Yes. So it makes sense as to why they wanted to yep. start this run and walk. And just to narrow mm -hmm. it down a little bit, what is part of the whole day's event? It is coming here, I think, September yep. 29th, 30th? 30th. Um, 30th, yep. yep. So it's two and a half weeks away. So on the 29th, really, if you want to stop up uh, noon to five you can register if you haven't registered yet yeah. pick up your t-shirt we do nice long sleeve dry fits for Very everybody nice. um, so you can come up on the 29th and register if you need to but then everything kind of starts on September 30th which is that Saturday um, from 7 30 to 9 30 we just have walk-in okay. registration yeah. in case you haven't registered yet you can still register on the day of and then we have a four mile run that starts at 10 o'clock. Okay. And then we have a 1K one mile kind of in that distance um, okay. that starts at 10, 10. 
anybody. It can be kids. It can be adults. It's not like just for kids and right. that. It can be for anybody yeah. that you know wants to do you know less than the four mile race. Yeah, of course. And I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there that don't want to yes. do the four. So, and can you walk it too? You can walk. Okay, it. You can good. bike. We have kids that'll take their oh, scooters and Cute. stuff like that. I think like what really makes our event really cool mm -hmm. is also the route that we've chosen. Yeah. So our route is really awesome. They showed it up there just like a couple seconds ago. But the route goes from our safety campus, which okay. is up on near the BSC. It's a 1710 Canary Avenue. Yep. And it goes around the Tamo Loop and then okay. back to our building, yeah. which is four miles. So okay. run for change, four miles. So we thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then the um, shorter walk that actually goes south of our building along the river, right by the new Gateway to Science. So you get gorgeous river views. Yeah. You get to see the new building. You get to see the bowl. And so you're kind of in a really great area to be. And the Tamo Loop is pretty good too. Lots of trees yeah. and just very scenic, of course. Yep. Okay, so registration you said beforehand is preferred, or can you still show up on the you 30th? You can absolutely okay. show up on the 30th. If you want to register beforehand, we appreciate that. It's always helpful to have everything ready, yeah. but people can absolutely walk in that morning, register. You know, sometimes it's like, you make yeah. that last minute decision based on the weather or what's going on with right. your kids and stuff like that. But it's, it's going to be a great day. You can show up that But morning. you did say it comes with a long sleeve. Yes. So I think that should help towards the end of September. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? Well, you need it. Thank you, Tia, for yeah, coming out here. Um, we much appreciate it. Run for change. Thank you. Keep it here. More to come on North Dakota Today after this.